in the last video, we built on our understanding of what half steps and whole steps are to build major scales. And in this video, we're now going to go to our next interval. So here we are with half steps and whole steps, or minor seconds, which is the same thing as a half step, and major second, which is the same thing as a whole step. Last video hung out here, and then now we're going to talk about minor thirds and major thirds, and we're going to use them in a very important application, which is building chords. So this video is all about chords. Three important rules about chords. One, a chord is a cluster of three or more notes. That's a basic definition. Number two, here's the thing that a lot of people don't know about chords. Chords are built by stacking thirds. Chords are built by stacking thirds. We're going to talk about what that means. Number three, triads are chords with only three notes, and so they are the simplest kind of chords. What do I mean by stacking thirds? Well, first, in order to answer that question, let's remember <clears throat> that there are two different kinds of thirds. There's a minor third and there's a major third. Minor thirds are three half steps, and so if I start on A, I go one, two, three over to C. That would be from A to C is a minor third. And a major third is four half steps. So a major third starting on A ends at C sharp. And if you're at your piano, I recommend just playing, play A and C together, and then play A and C sharp together. And what you notice is that when you play A and C together, the minor third, it's minor and it sounds a little sadder than the major third, which sounds a little happier. Now, how do you stack these things? All right, stacking thirds. <clears throat> Ignore this for a second. You can stack thirds in four different combinations. You can start with a minor third and then stack a minor, another minor third on top of it. You could start with a minor third and then stack a major third on top of it. You could start with a major third and stack a minor third on top of it. You could start with a major third and then stack a major third on top of it. And each of these four combinations leads to a particular kind of triad. The first minor third plus minor third gives you a diminished triad. A minor third plus a major third gives you a minor triad. A major third plus a minor third gives you a major triad, and a major third plus a major third gives you an augmented triad. You're going to notice minor triads and major triads, more commonly referred to as just minor chord, major chord, are the two most common chords used in all of music. Diminished chords and augmented chords are, tend to be used a little bit more in jazz, um, but just because they're part of the math of this whole thing, we're going to just go ahead and cover them right now. So here's how it works. Let's start on A and we'll go up by a minor third, a, so we're gonna count three half steps from here. One, two, three, and we're gonna land on C. Now let's go up a minor third from C, so one, two, three, and this is gonna be E flat. Again, I'm just simplifying, it's, could, you could also call it D sharp, I'm calling it E flat. There actually is a reason why you would call it D sharp or E flat, and it's context specific. And it's just too annoying of a rule for me to talk about right now, so we're going to talk about that in another video. For right now, we're calling it E-flat. All right, next. Starting on A, we're going to go over a minor third, one, two, three. That's C. Now we're going to go over a major third, one, two, three, four, and that's E. So for those musicians and watching, A, C, E should be familiar. That's, a, that's an A minor chord, A minor triad. There you go. All right, now let's look at a major third plus a minor third. A, now going over a major third is four half steps. One, two, three, four, C sharp. <clears throat> and then from C sharp, one, two, three is the minor third. And so we stack the major third plus the minor third. That gives us A, C sharp, and E, and those are the notes in the A major triad. And the last one, the A augmented chord, A, and then going over one, two, three, gives us a C sharp, and then, sorry, that should be one, two, three, four, because it's a major third, and then going up another major third, one, two, three, four, gives us F. There we have it. All right. Now you know what I'm about to say, which is that I can pick any note I want to start on and this stacking of thirds will give me this exact same pattern of thing. So let's take another 
one of these and I'll just pick a random there and looks like I lost my cool box but that's alright alright so it looks like I'm starting on D alright let's look at the D diminished triad starting on D a minor third plus a minor third one two three gives me F and then one two three gives me a flat okay so D F and a flat those are the notes in the D diminished triad by the way just this should be obvious probably but I'm calling it the D diminished triad because it starts on the letter D this is the A diminished triad because it starts on the letter A this is going to be the D minor triad and it starts on D going over three half steps gives us the first minor third and then we're going over four half steps for the major set, major third, one, two, three, four. That gives us A. D, F, and A together make the D minor triad. All right. Now, starting on D, one, two, three, four, gives us our major third. That would be F sharp. One, two, three, gives us A. That would be um, a major third plus a minor third, which is the D major triad. All right. Last. Major third plus major third, so I've got D. F sharp is my first major third, and then one, two, three, four gives me A sharp. These are the notes in the D diminished, pardon me, D augmented triad. All right. We're going to stop here for this video, but I just want to really drive home the point that, so triads are chords with only three notes. We've so far we've talked about um, all four different kinds of A triad and all four different kinds of D triad. If you're sitting in front of a piano, I recommend playing these. Play the D diminished triad, play the D minor triad, the D major triad, and the D augmented triad, and see how they sound. The diminished triad is going to sound kind of sad and ominous. Um, the augmented triad is going to sound very bright. The minor triad is going to sound kind of um, sad but not as ominous as the diminished triad. The major triad is going to sound the happiest of all of these. Like I said, the major triad and the minor triad, these are the two most commonly used chords really in all of Western music, especially pop music. Um, and so uh, we're going to see in the next couple of videos how building chords like this fuses with the way, with our understanding of how major scales are built. And when we get those two kind of lines of thought connected, man, that is like the way, that's like unlocking kind of all of music theory for you and that's like kind of the key insight that I think this program will give you is how these two things interact. Now that we know about triads, the four possible triads starting on the key of A, let's just play them. So here we are with our A diminished triad, A, C, E flat. What does it sound like? Take that in for a second. It has an ominous feeling. It feels kind of dark. And I wouldn't even use the word sad. I would use the word, I would use dark and I would use ominous. All right. New triad. A minor. We have A, C, and E. Not quite as ominous, not quite as dark, and a little bit sad. Yeah. Now A major. A, C sharp, and E. Sounds kind of triumphant, especially after in the context of having just heard the last two. It sounds happy, it sounds it sounds bright, it sounds nice and excited, kind of like a fr friendly. It sounds friendly. And now the augmented triad. A, C sharp, F. This one sounds even brighter, and for some reason this, this chord sounds a little scary to me. It's not dark, like the ominous chord, but it is scary in the sense of like, I don't know, I always think there's like an enemy behind the door or something like that when I hear this chord, so. Um, Alright, so we have our four triads. We have diminished, minor, major, augmented, 
Those are the triads in the key of A. We also demonstrated them in the key of D. Let's go ahead and check them out. So we have D diminished. We have D minor. We have D major. And we have D augmented. All right. And I just want to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the A triads with the D triads. So the A diminished triad sounds just like the D diminished triad. Same quality. Now the A minor triad. And here's the D minor triad. Also same quality. A major, D major, happy, friendly, happy, friendly, and last, A augmented, D augmented. So there you have it, the four triads in A and D.